गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग मैम वट इज योर फुल नेम माई नेम इज मंदीप एंड माई फैमिली नेम इज यू कैन कॉल मी मंदीप How often do you read newspaper? I have a habit of regularly reading newspapers, and I used to be read Hindi newspapers. I used to, or you usually? Used to is for the past habit. Okay. Which okay. newspapers do you read? Hmm. I I read variety of newspapers, but my favorite newspaper to read is Daily Pastor. What kind of news you like to read? Lot of news for uh, current daily current affairs, but favorite ones are sports news. Okay, how important are newspapers in your country? Newspapers are the basic need of uh, every Indian because when we wake up every paper every indian start is his or her day with paper and a cup of tea okay let's talk about television and films how often do you watch tv uh, basically i don't watch tv i used to i usually watch movies in laptop okay what kind of movies you like to watch I like to watch action movies. Why? They entertain me a lot. Okay. How often do you go to cinema? Uh, I go to cinema very rarely, uh, because the cinema is very far from our home. Because I live in countryside of a small city. Okay. Do you prefer to live in a small town or big city, and why? Uh, Ma'am, no one can deny that every coin has two faces, and everything has its advantages and disadvantages. In cases of uh, countryside, it has more advantages than its disadvantages. I prefer to live in villages or countryside. So, can you share the advantages and disadvantages? Ma'am, as you know, is wealth, and in living in the countryside, mm. it makes us healthy, and the air, food is very clean and fresh. All right, now I will give you your two-minute topic. Your two-minute topic is talk about something your family member has done that made you proud. Okay. You should say who it was, what he she did. when it happened and explain why it made you proud you have one minute to prepare it it becomes a very proud moment when a family member or any relatives achieve something and i would like to talk about my brother when he was in his secondary school he he achieved an gold medal in athletics Mm-hmm. he was a runner at his time and he he i eventually i you you see he him he was very dedicated towards his work and he he gives his 40% of his day time to athletics and he was the reason being i felt i felt proud of his achievement because when he met he meets with me he used to tell me three key features of uh, success that also makes me much motivating him he told me three key features features of success that d the formula d3 that consists of uh, dedication determination and discipline i watching him or and his success so started athletics and i also achieved some of medals in state level i i gave my all of success i think that he is behind my success because he motivated me when he got a national national medal 
Okay, Amandeep, you have to be a little bit fluent. Okay, you have to be a little bit fluent. And secondly, you said when I meet with, when he meet with me, it's wrong. When I met him, or when he met me, okay, okay, not meet with. It's already okay. meet. And you have to work on your fluency. Okay, you you have to work on your fluency. You are taking a lot of time. Okay. All right. Now in part three, I will ask you okay, few questions. What can a child do to make their parents proud? Um, it's very important to make our parents proud because they are in their time and they are assessed uh, assessed on us. And by becoming such becoming a such such person, we can make them proud. By becoming successful person. What makes adults feel proud of themselves? Ma'am, to me, when people uh, talk positive things about uh, any adult, this makes most proudest for him or her in her life. Okay. Is it a good thing to reward children? Yes, ma'am. Rewarding a children makes him. Uh, or her motivating towards his work and re rewards also gives an motivation of him keep going in his or her field is it good to be rewarded all the time yes ma'am i think so whether he or her loses or we should reward him and if we if we reward any children to give his his hundred percent because uh, rewards. Can a person feel proud because of their job? Although, ma'am, all uh, neither night no job is small. We should go for jobs, but if our job is very uh, good, like exam in example police army it it makes uh, him uh, the proudest man of honor yeah it makes a person proud when they are serving country serving people you can give example also like you said police army of course they are protecting people and uh, they are working hard on the uh, you can say front and uh, you can talk about even like yes, uh, like social workers, doctor, nurses. They worked really hard during COVID. Of course, they feel proud when everybody yes, was sitting uh, when everybody was sitting at home during COVID. Doctor, nurses felt proud yes. of their job, and people used to uh, post their relatives' picture. We are proud of you. You are working so hard in PPE yes. kits. Remember? So of course, a person can feel yes, proud of their jobs. Okay. Can a cleaner take pride in their job? And that's an interesting question. I will take a bit on thinking upon it. Yes, ma'am. Should be hygiene to people. And he, although hygiene is very crucial for healthy life, he is also some cleaners are although helping government. So they can say to uh, government servant too. And looking upon Nate, uh, all people are proud government servants. And the cleaner is also uh, plays crucial role in helping private homes and private hospitals by mental hygiene there. In ex for example, in this corona pandemic, we all have seen that the hygiene is the most important thing. So by looking upon Nate, Cleaners play a very crucial role. All right, this is the end of your speaking test.